Alpinion 3D 4D Operation Tutorial. This tutorial video is for helping our Alpinion users to operate our 3D 4D mode more easily and properly with our eCube 11. If you get used to operating the 3D 4D mode, you will be able to take many advantages of 3D 4D as a useful clinical tool. Pre-acquisition process on 3D 4D. Obtain 2D image. Now, I will start scanning 2D mode. To acquire a good 3D 4D image, your first and most important step is to get a proper positioning of the baby, which is the true sagittal view of fetal face. Our probe indicator is this dot right here, which is normally located upward in case of longitudinal scanning. Now, in order to find the true sagittal view of fetal face, you better start from the transverse view in a BPD line so that you can figure out where is anterior or posterior part in the fetal head. If the anterior part of brain is seen on the right side here, please move the probe to the right side and turn it to the longitudinal plane. Now, you can find the fetal sagittal view as you see on this. Also, there should be enough amniotic fluid in front of the baby's face in order to isolate only the face. Start 3D or 4D. Now when you capture the right sagittal view, please press the 3D or 4D button on the control panel. Then, the yellow volume box and the green ROI line will show up on the screen. Volume Preset and Volume Setting Before acquiring the volume image, you can see several volume presets and the pre-acquisition options on the touchscreen. Volume Preset is a 3D image preset which is optimized for better visualization of different structures. For example, Default or Surface Preset well visualizes the fetal face and Spine Preset can visualize the bone structures more clearer by erasing the soft tissues. On the bottom of touchscreen, there are some volume imaging options, which are adjusted before volume acquisition. Quality means the number of 2D frames to acquire one single volume image. The more 2D frames you acquire for one volume image, the volume image quality can be more enhanced in 3D image. But in case of 4D mode, the volume frame rate will become very slower. Normally, high one level is proper for both good image quality and 4D volume flow rate. Volume angle is the sweeping range to acquire one volume image. The motor of transducer sweeps back and forth to take many slices depending on the volume angle. In case of 3D image, you can choose the maximum volume angle, which is 75 degrees. But the wider volume angle can cause the slower 4D volume rate. Locate the volume box and begin acquisition. Now we made all of the settings for volume acquisition. Then, we are going to adjust the size of volume box after pressing a set button and using a trackball. And once you press the set button again, you can locate the volume box with scrolling a trackball above the baby's face. This green ROI line indicates the top of volume box, so it's important to keep that green line above the baby's face and in the amniotic fluid. Now, you're ready to go into the 3D, 4D mode. Press the freeze button. After a few seconds, the acquired volume image comes up on the screen. Adjust 3D or 4D image. Multi-planar rendering mode. In the quad layout, you will find out the three sectional plane images and one rendering volume image. This kind of 3D, 4D imaging mode is called MPR, multi-planar rendering mode. Since this MPR mode shows the sagittal, transverse, and coronal view at the same time, these three orthogonal planes can help you understand the geometrical anatomy more easily. We call each reference plane A, 
B, and C plane. Normally, in the fetal face view, A plane is a sagittal or profile view, B plane is a transverse or axial view, and C plane is a coronal view. When you acquire the volume image at first, the 3D volume image will be displayed as an inverted image because normally baby's head is positioned down in cephalic presentation, which is actually upside down position to the probe. So, you should flip it 180 degrees. As you can see the touch screen, you can find the default reference plane already on the 3D button. Then you can change the 3D orientation to 180 degrees. Now, the baby is turned to the right position. In case that you want to rotate only 3D image to 90 degrees, 180 degrees or 270 degrees with just pressing the button, your reference plane always should be on the 3D plane. Next, you can slightly adjust the orientation of baby with XYZ controls to visualize the baby's face better. On the control panel, the XYZ controls are assigned to the angle, PW, and CF mode buttons. In case that our reference plane is selected on the 3D plane, you can find the X control to turn the baby down or up, the Y control to turn it to the left and right, and the Z control to turn it from the clockwise to counterclockwise. Here we have volume sync function when you see the bottom of render setting on the left side. This volume sync function is the option to choose whether you rotate only volume image or volume with other three sectional planes together. So with this volume sync on, three sectional planes and one volume image are rotated together. Manipulate volume. Once you finally correct a fetal position, you could adjust ROI line again to visualize the better baby's face. In order to readjust the ROI line, we have two ways to do it. First, you can move the A-plane image close to the ROI line. To change the reference plane to the A-plane, just press the set key once. Then the reference plane is automatically changed to the A-plane from the 3D plane. Now by moving the trackball, you can locate the image properly close to the ROI line. The second way is to move the ROI line close to the baby's face. Please press the priority key to activate the ROI function. And then if I scroll this ROI line down, it only shows the image below the green ROI line. And with a priority key, we are going to activate flexible ROI. This curved ROI is helpful to bend the ROI line along the baby's face by cutting out the placenta or other structures that could obstruct the fetal face imaging. Render setting. Now we are going to clean up the image to make the volume image more beautiful. When you see this bottom of touch panel, there are the most used parameters, such as threshold, brightness, and contrast. Then, Let's look over the imaging effect of each parameter. Basically, the threshold is telling the machine how much of the image you want to show. When you turn it too high, it only keeps the very strong echoes on the screen with eliminating the noise. But if you decrease the threshold, it shows more volume images, but it could look a little bit fuzzy because it shows all of information, including artifacts. By adjusting the threshold value properly, you can find a nice balanced image that shows details without artifact noise. And by adjusting brightness, volume image can be bright or dark. And with higher contrast level, the outline of face becomes sharper. Also, here is a smooth parameter on the touch screen. This will be a smoothing out the image, but too high smoothing will make it lose the detail information. Parallel Shift In case that you would like to see the sectional planes back and forth through a volume image, we have two ways to slide the images. First thing is to use the slide key on the control panel. Slide key is also assigned to the M mode button. In the status of 3D reference plane, as you rotate the slide key, 
you can slide the volume image back and forth in a small interval. Another way is using a move function with a trackball. After selecting a reference plane, once you activate the move function with a priority key, by scrolling the trackball up and down, you can see the all slice images through the volume image. Easy cut. Now, we are going to erase the unwanted image by using the easy cut function. Once you press this easy cut button, there are four ways to erase the image. For example, the way of cut in is to erase the inside of selected area, and box out is to erase the outside of selected box area. If you want to go back to the previous step, you can click undo on the touch panel. Other rendering mode. Now, I will talk about other volume rendering modes. Live HQ. First, the other rendering mode I'd like to introduce is Live HQ. This Live HQ mode can show you the more realistic face image with a skin colored map. When you turn on this Live HQ on the touch panel, the volume image is changed to the skin color and the light source is displayed on the top of screen. But since the Live HQ mode is another different rendering mode, the ROI location and render setting goes back to the reset again from the adjusted setting. So you should readjust the ROI line for visualizing the better baby's face. To highlight different anatomical structures in the volume image, you can change the light direction. On the touch screen, you can select the light direction button as you want, or for more detail adjustment, once pressing this move light button, you can freely adjust the light direction by moving a trackball. And in the live HQ mode, you can also adjust the various parameters like threshold, brightness, and smooth as you do in the normal 3D mode. Multi-slice view. Another visualization mode of 3D 4D is multi-slice view. This multi-slice view mode shows parallel tomographic slices similar to the CT or MRI display, so it can provide you with detailed diagnostic information. You can choose the number of displayed slices by changing the display format, and depending on what you select from the reference plane, the selected plane is displayed with a variety of intervals. This interval thickness between the individual slices can be changed by rotating the pitch button. Now as you rotate this pre-post button, you can look over all slice images. In addition, with a zoom function, you can see a bigger slice image for a detailed diagnosis. And this SRI filter helps to make the image much clearer and sharper. Other additional workflow. Save the volume preset. If you found your preferred volume preset after a few adjustments, you can have your own volume preset and bring it out every time you go to the 3D 4D mode. It will reduce your operation time and steps. Once you press this user preset button and go to the define preset on the touch screen, you can save your preset with a new preset name. Sometimes, you can make a new preset which is named cephalic for the baby with a cephalic presentation by saving the image after adjustment of orientation. So in case of cephalic presentation, just by selecting this new preset, you will be able to directly get the right position of baby. Or if you save the preset in the status of live HQ mode with a few adjustments, you can acquire the good live HQ volume image right after entering the 3D 4D mode. Save the volume image. There are two ways of saving the volume image as a still cut or a 4D cine video. And we offer the three peripheral keys, P1, P2, and print buttons. At first, with P1 key, the 3D still image is saved as a still cut in DICOM file. And regarding the 4D image, the way of saving the 4D cine is retrospective way. 
So after scanning the 4D Cine images for a few seconds, you should press the Freeze key to decide the ending point, and press the P2 key to save these Cine images. Then, 4D Cine images are automatically saved. Export 3D 4D image. In case that some of patients ask you for 3D or 4D images of their baby, you can export the saved images into the portable memory device, such as USB or DVD. At first, insert your USB memory into the USB port built in the touchscreen. If you want to export the images before you end examination, press the E View button on the control panel here. Then the saved images are displayed so you can review the images and delete the unwanted image. After this, click the Save As button on the screen. Then a new pop up menu comes up. Now you will be able to select the existing folder or make a new folder in your device. The name of the image file is automatically generated, or you can rewrite the file names like this. After you transfer all images into the device, when you remove the USB memory from the system, you better press the eject button on the keyboard to export it more safely.